This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Scotterly. Princess Keys, located on the southern tip of Eleuthera, is an exclusive island destination for Princess Cruises. It now offers guests the ultimate fun in the sun experience with program enhancements, renovated areas, and Wi-Fi. Princess Keys was ranked among the top cruise line private island destinations by Cruise Critic for 2017. The beach is situated on approximately 40 acres and is a featured call on Princess's eastern and western Caribbean itineraries. In other business news, a locally developed mobile application for tourists called Onshore Bahamas is proving a useful tool for both air and sea visitors. The travel app developed by the All Bahamian Onshore Travel Group is helping to tempt more cruise ship passengers to step ashore and sample the sights, sounds, and dozens of listed activities and retail opportunities when in Nassau and soon more fully in Freeport and select family islands. Director of Business Development for the Ministry of Tourism and Aviation, Janet Johnson, has expressed enthusiasm for the new app. The Onshore Bahamas app is designed to bring significant savings in both time and money for users and does result in a more thorough and enjoyable experience while on shore. Users have the language options of English, French, or Spanish. The app also provides contact information to book tours, click to call phone numbers, or to go directly to helpful websites. And in international news, unions representing about 35,000 Disney World workers say Disney is refusing to pay their members $1,000 tax cut bonuses. Disney announced that the $1,000 bonuses last month were 125,000 U.S. employees. The company said at that time that the bonuses would go to full and part-time employees, including those represented by unions currently working under existing union contracts. But the union members at Disney World are in the midst of contract negotiations. They say rank-and-file workers in December voted 93% against Disney's most recent offer of a $0.50 cent an hour raise over the next two years coupled with a $200 signing bonus. Now according to the union most unionized Disney World employees make less than $11 an hour. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm C.S. Gatterley.